Ladies and gentlemen, if we get a museum exhibit about Paul Bunbar, this would be the first exhibit. Check, check, one, two, one. survived all of that and are here tonight 25 years later from the last tour we did with Pop Defect and we are here to celebrate them and everything that they are the most amazing band to come out of Los Angeles and I feel like I'm Steve Martin on The Jerk where it's like the most amazing band ever that was on Flipside Records here on this record here but anyway but we're really proud to be here thank you very much thank you. it's great to see all these familiar faces um you all are looking beautiful. Don't forget that. Well, most of us are. <laughs> all right, Robert, let's do this.
We do ours? That's the only one I should have brought my own. Yeah. But you know what? You're not going to be saying that in an hour. She likes me.
How's that, uh, how's that amp treatment? Just, this one isn't what I'm using. This song started off uh, in a band practice making fun of the Smiths. Uh, or, or, or in loving the Smiths, one of the two. But it started off joking, going, I can do it when I'm in the sun. Is that what I get the
So I think Mayor Durkin from Seattle is going to be up here any second to give a pop, pop defector key to the city for being founders of rock and roll in here in Seattle. And they deserve it. So we dug deep for this show. So we did that tour 25 years ago with Pop Defect. This song probably dates back to like 27 years ago. I can say now, this is our ode to Gas Supper. It's called Fist Fight with a Billy Goat.
you, everybody. Sure, it's fun to see everybody. This isn't quite a high school reunion, but uh, it could be like a parole board reunion. Or it could be an AA meeting. Hello, my name is Ben. This is water, wait, wait. Yeah. We should have a check in a little bit. Are we doing that? How you feeling? It's weird. It's not the amp that I came with, but it's the amp I'm leaving with, just like the 90s as well. So.
Thank you, Greg. He's got one or two more, and then uh, the amazing, another national treasure of the Black Adam coming out. Fallouts, excuse me. Hey Tommy, Tommy, let's, let's get a toast going here real quick. In the immortal words of our friends in the Gints, to all our friends, thank you for seeing you all tonight, and uh, it's great to have friends that we've been able to share all this stuff with over the years, so this one's for you Tommy, here, cheers buddy.
everyone, we got one more. I'm so psyched to be here. My mantra these days is it's good to be alive. Shake the person's hand next to you. Enjoy being here. It's great. <laughs> Only thing better than being alive is when your anti brawn actually works. So you're not. <laughs> this one's from Rock. <laughs> if only I was a Boy Scout. <laughs> I could never get this pedal show for you. Let's try this.
Paul Stoner. Do you think like you're riding in the van right now, late night at the concert? You're like, oh shit, that concert was dope! But I'm fucked up and I gotta go home and talk to my parents for like 30 minutes. Because it's much fucking better than Ozzy Osbourne. And my seventh year old son's like, fuck you, dude, you don't know what you're talking about. And then I realized he actually knew what he was talking about. <laughs> Stands, for no reason of his own, got kicked out of Love Battery, and the rest is history. It might have something to do with not showing up to practices, but their loss is my gain. And then we did shit like this for the first year or two. At one point, we drove out to West Seattle on his motorcycle, me holding a guitar and a bass on either side, with his half motorcycle on the field, me like a yarn up there because I have a giant head. And we live to tell this tale. And then we go chain with people and we be like, oh, let's just go. tells you that his favorite band was Petra, and you're like, box a check, fuck that, we're going back to Seattle, we're going to find the right people to do this with, and uh, we spent the next bunch of years playing with a bunch of people, and they were all the right people at the time, and now we're lucky to have my good friend Rob down on the drums, and he's the right person for this time, too. <laughs> And this is the future. This could happen to you. Or this could happen to us. And it did happen and we're all here. So fucking shake the hand next to the person next to you. It's good to be alive. Thank you for coming out. We'll see you in another 16 years. Alright, have a good night. Thank you.